The DJ Mini 4 Pro has just been released. There's been a lot of talk about this drone, loads of questions asked about it, lots of controversy. Let's get into it. So loads of questions have been asked about this drone and I want to actually try and answer some of these most asked questions. The first one we're going to talk about first of all is the filters. So do the DJI Mini 3 Pro filters work on the DJI Mini 4 Pro? So they have the same sensor size. The cameras look pretty much identical on both of them. And it was one of the first things that I actually checked out and unfortunately, no, they don't fit. So if you take off the filter of your Mini 3 Pro and you try and put it on your Mini 4 Pro, it won't fit. I've tried this, there is no way of getting that to fit. Now I have tried Freeware ones, I've tried other manufacturers as well, it just doesn't work. So you will need to get some new filters, especially because this drone is a fixed f1.7 aperture, ND filters, basically just live on the drone all the time, just like they did on the Mini 3 Pro. At the time of recording this, the only ND filters you can actually get for the Mini 4 Pro are the DJI ones. These are the ones I was using when I was actually testing this drone. They are pretty limiting though. You only get three of them, an ND16, which is what I've got on right now, an ND64 and an ND256. So not a massive range. I would say just if you can wait for other manufacturers, the Freeware ones, which are ones I normally use, they are available on their website. Uh, link them at the top of the description, but they're for pre order. But they will give you a lot more options when it comes to ND filters, much more range. They have ND polarizing filters, they have different effects. I would say wait for them, they're going to be available around about mid October. But ND filters for the Mini 3 Pro will not work on the Mini 4 Pro. The next question is Can you use the Mini 3 Pro batteries on the Mini 4? Well, they both look pretty much identical, don't they? I will show you a way of telling the difference. But yeah, you can get the Mini 3 Pro battery. You can put it in the back of the Mini 4 Pro and it will turn on and fly. So there are a couple of differences you need to be made aware about though, but it will turn on and it does work. However, the Mini 4 Pro battery is slightly less in weight than the Mini 3 Pro battery. So this means when you use a Mini 4 Pro, if you put a Mini 3 Pro battery inside of it, it will take it overweight up to around about 252 grams. So this is basically on you, isn't it? If you use a Mini 3 Pro battery on your Mini 4 Pro and you're out flying and some official comes over to you and goes, oh, what drone are you flying there? And you go, oh, it's a, it's a Mini 4 Pro. It weighs 249 grams. And he goes, actually, let's see about this. And he gets his scales out of his pocket and then asks you to weigh it. You put it on his weighing scales and it won't actually be under 250 grams. So that's on you. But yeah, in, in aspects of it, does it work? Yes, they do. But it does put that drone over the 250 gram limit. The DJI RC2, the new controller that comes with the Mini 4 Pro, can I use this with other drones? Well, no, you can only use the DJI RC2 with OcuSync 4 drones. That is the DJI Mini 4 Pro and the DJI Air 3. Okay, but I've got the DJI RC Pro, this thousand nit controller, really good, high performance. This is a fantastic controller and the most expensive controller that DJI sell for these portable drones. Can I use this on my DJI Mini 4 Pro? No, you can't. This is only capable of up to OcuSync 3 Plus. So this RC Pro will not work with the DJI Mini 4 Pro just like it won't work with the DJI Air 3 either. Okay, so I've got the DJI RC. I got this with a Mini 3 Pro. I don't want to actually go out and get the drone and controller. Can I just get this drone on its own and use my DJI RC controller? No, you can't. The DJI RC controller, the controller without the external antennas, will not work with the DJI Mini 4 Pro. The DJI Mini 3 Pro did suffer a little bit with overheating. So you saw loads of people online, these pictures, when they were actually updating their firmware, they would have these fans going, they would have like an ice pack on top of the drone. Does the Mini 4 Pro suffer with any overheating? Well, I've not found any issue and I've been flying this in some hot temperatures. So in America, it's around about 40 degrees of really sticky Florida heat. I've been flying it in different countries around Europe as well, where it's also been really hot. And I would say that all the testing I've been doing, I've not had the drone just like hovering up in place and just sat there for long periods of time. It's always been moving, but I've had no overheating issues or warnings in any of these countries I've been flying this. And also when I've been updating the firmware on here, again, no overheating issues. So it looks like any overheating issues which were caused on the Mini 3 Pro have been solved on the Mini 4 Pro. It still doesn't have any like internal fans inside of here 
but I've not personally had any issues with overheating. Before we move on to the questions, this video is sponsored by me. So I've got my very own drone website, which sells lots, presets, and cheat sheets for your drones. So if you've got any of these drones, but you want to get the very best out of it, you can get cheat sheets, which go through all of the settings, so you can have them with you when you're out flying, so you don't forget any of these settings. But I've also got video LUTs, so LUTs which you can use on D-Log M footage, for instance, on the Mini 4 Pro. They're also now available on my website, so you can drag these on, transform the look of that video instantly with my custom-made LUTs. For the Mini 4 Pro, the Mini 3 Pro, the Air 3, I've had all of them on my website, so go and check them out. I'm going to link it also at the top of the description. And thanks so much for the support. If you have bought any of these products or you buy any of them, I really do appreciate it. Let's get back into the video. Does the DJI Mini 4 Pro have a limit of 120 meters? Well, it does in EU countries. So when I was flying this in America, there was no limit. I can still move that slider up to 500 meters and I can go over 120 meters or 400 feet if I needed to. Same in the UK, I was able to change this. There was no limit there whatsoever. However, in EU countries, due to that EASA ruling coming in in 2024, there is a limit on CO drones, just like the DJI Mini 4 Pro. So when I was flying this, in, for instance, in Spain, I was limited to 120 meters. So I did mention this to DJI, and DJI in the background have been trying to find ways of actually getting around this. Now, this isn't really part of DJI. This is the EASA rulings, which state that you can't fly a small drone like this over 120 meters. DJI have sent out an update which actually takes that restriction off on the DJI Mini 4 Pro even in EU countries. Now this at the moment I think will change in 2024 because of the EASA rulings. We'll have to wait and see but currently on the DJI Mini 4 Pro and the Mini 3 Pro in the EU countries you can fly over 120 meters. DJI have changed this in the last few days. And it's not just going to be on the Mini 4 Pro. All these drones under 250 grams from 2024 in the EU countries will be limited to 120 meters. I'm sure there'll be a firmware update pushed out at some point in 2024 for the Mini 3 Pro as well, which will limit that. So if you find outside of the EU, like UK, Canada, US, Australia, anywhere like that, it's not going to be affected. Well, fingers crossed anyway. But that's what it is currently on the Mini 4 Pro. I would say though, if you do fly in areas where it is really hilly, mountainous, these fantastic landscapes, but they're also pretty windy, the Mini 4 Pro might not be that drone for you anyway, because although this drone is fantastic, it's packed full of features, one of the downsides that I've mentioned on the Mini 3 Pro is it's not fantastic in the wind, but also now that we have these restrictions in EU countries that they can only go 120 meters, I would strongly consider moving up to its bigger brother, the DJI Air 3. That's not limited in any country, Country, so you can go over 120 meters even in EU countries, but it's also much stronger, much more powerful, and it has that three times camera for not much more money than the Mini 4 Pro. So I would say that is a, a fantastic consideration if you want to fly in those areas. Has the condensation or the fogging of the lens been fixed on the Mini 4 Pro? So a lot of you guys suffered from this fogging issue on the Mini 3 Pro, especially when you were in like cold areas, you went to warm, it would have this condensation on the lens. You'd have to either send it back to DJI or just hope it would go away. That has been completely fixed now, well for me anyway, on the Mini 4 Pro. I have had no issues testing this in loads of different areas, especially in that humid climate like in Florida. Nothing, no problem with fogging on here. So I'm glad that's been fixed as well. Is the tracking good from the front on this drone? So the Active Track 360 on here is really good. But yeah, the tracking from the front is much better. I would say even better than the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 Pro as well. So it can track you straight in front. You can have it really close to you on the inner circle, or you can move it out on the outer circle and have it track you from the front or basically anywhere on that clock face. But yeah, much better now. And talking about Active Track 360, will we see this on the DJI Air 3 or the Mavic 3 series? Another question a load of you were asking. Quite frankly, I just don't know. I don't see a reason why not. We hopefully will get one in a firmware update. I'm just not sure. At the moment, it's just on the Mini 4 Pro. And whether it's just going to stay on the Mini 4 Pro or it will be pushed out with a firmware update to these other two drones, time will tell. But at the moment, it's just on that Mini 4 Pro. Fingers crossed it will though. Another question, is this a good enough upgrade from the Mini 3 Pro? Well, you need to go watch my video, don't you? I did a video on the DJI Mini 3 Pro versus the DJI Mini 4 Pro. But I would say, again, just to categorize it, if you don't fly your drone that often, you're just a Sunday flyer, you just want to take some videos and photos on your drone and have a small drone like this, and you already have this drone, then probably not, it's not for you, no. 
But if you want the very best, you want extra features like the Active Track 360, you want waypoints, you want cruise control, you want full 360 sensors now on here, then yeah, it's a good, it's a good upgrade. It's, it's not a huge upgrade like we saw from the Mini 2 to the Mini 3 Pro. That was, for me, a massive upgrade. But it is better. We see now a constant theme, not just in drones, but phones now like small little upgrades every year. Everything gets better slightly. That's just what this is. This is better than the Mini 3 Pro, but not by a huge stretch, but it is better. It is the best small drone you can get. So if you want the very best, this is the one to get. So quite a few questions there to get through, but I really do hope I answered some of them for you. If you did like this video, just hit that like button. It really does help out get this to more people. The Mini 4 Pro, a fantastic drone. If you want to go and check it out, I'm going to link it at the top of the description. I've got a lot more coming on this drone as well. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.